Hi guys and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today I'm mixing it up with some trading cards and oh my goodness so I'm a little late to the Star Wars Rogue One game but recently saw the movie and absolutely loved it kind of obsessed with it right now and I got this case of cards you get 10 individual packs plus one medallion card and I thought that was really cool this is the first time I'm opening them and oh look at the death trooper so it's just oh my goodness it was an awesome awesome movie um, I will say that this video is going to have spoilers most likely so if you haven't seen Rogue One stop the video now go see it because it's amazing and then come back and watch my video as we open some really cool cards from Tops. and this is probably going to be a long video because I ramble when I get excited over a topic <laughs> okay so let's open this guy up okay so inside oh wow so here's our packs. Oh, this is the medallion card. We'll save that for last. And then you get 10 packs with the six trading cards inside. Looks like they all have the same cover with Jin there. Oh, lots of fun stuff. <laughs> so here's a look at the odds, and they have a lot of special cards. I do remember seeing somewhere about the autograph card. That would be amazing, and I'm sure those are the hardest to find. So there's that, and let's just jump right in here. Let's cut them nicely. So our very first card is Pilgrims to Jetta. And the title here is Silver Embossing, which is nice. These are nice quality cards, and this is card number 43. Second, we have Bodhi on board. He's a really cool character. They all were. He's number 31. Patrol on Jetta. Love the Stormtroopers. Oh, this one's cool. Uh, Rebels Keep Watch. Nice. Oh, yes, we have a Death Trooper in action. And then we have this card, Defiance, with Jin in the background. That's really cool. And this is one of the Rogue One gallery cards. And then going back on the odds here, the gallery cards are a 1 in 8. Cool. Pack number 2. Oh, cool. First up we have Galen Urso. And then we have the Imperial Shore Trooper. These guys are really cool. Rebel Pathfinder. Death Star Gunner. Oh, General Draven. Didn't like his character that much. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Storming the Beach. Man, that showdown. And then we have a Shuttle Blueprint. And there's eight Blueprint park cards to collect. Oh, it does say it's Krennic's Imperial Shuttle. There you go. Very cool. And then as for the blueprint cards, they're a 1 in 6 chance of finding them. So it does look like every um, last card in the pack is your special card that has different odds to it. So very, very cool. We'll put those in back. Pack number 3. Well, this one's hard to come out. There we go. Okay, so we have Harbingers in Black. Ooh, that's foreboding. And just looks super cool. Um, that's part of the opening scene, which was very impressive. Then we have the battle approaches. Random rebel pilot dude. <laughs> um, I'm sure he has a whole backstory. Then we have servants of the empire. Awesome as always. Oh yay, we have Bays, Bays Malbus. Looking very cool and serious. Oh, here's another picture of Baze. Uh, Baze fights back. Oh, and then we have a Stormtrooper, and I like the artwork on it. So these are character icon cards, and there's 11 to collect. Oh, sweet. That one's really neat. And it looks like the character icon cards are a 1 in 4, so not, not too rare. But cool nonetheless. 
Next pack. We have Unleashed on the Empire. We have Churret. Churret? Is that my pronouncing it right? But he's awesome and doing some damage with his bow staff. <laughs> then we have Blue Squadron. Oh, Mon Mothma. General Jan Dodonna. More Stormtroopers, Imperial Stormtroopers. And then our character card of Mon Mothma. Oh, it's a sticker card. That's cool, so you probably just peel it apart there. And I would have thought stickers would be the least rare, but look at they're a 1 in 24 chance. They're one of the harder ones to get. Why do we get Mon Mothma? Nothing against her, but, I mean, Cassian or Jin, that would have been nice. <laughs> okay, so let's keep opening. In the streets of Jeddah. Got some dead stormtroopers there. A Brotherhood of Two. Oh, I love these guys. Ah, <sighs> that movie, man. The feels. Um, Director Krennic's Obsession. How funny, reading through my, my camera, I thought it said depression, and I was like, oh, either makes sense, I guess. <laughs> it's very cogitative there, nice. And then, oh, we have General Draven again. We have a little advertisement, digital trading cards, new from Tops. Oh, and you have a code there, if anyone wants that. And then we have this cool one. Oh, yes, K2SO. <laughs> Finally. And this is a montage card. Oh, that's sweet. Love the droid. <laughs> and the montage cards are a 1 in 8 odd to get, and there's 8 to collect. Those are really cool. I like that. Love K2SO. That movie, ah, uh, it had so many cool characters and I know you didn't get, you know, all their backstories or everything, but you know, you got enough to where you felt for them and yeah, it hurts. Okay, so we have a call to action. That's cool. Yay, Cassian listens in. Finally a Cassian card, very cool. Troopers on patrol. Death Trooper. Looking shiny. I love how you can see the reflection there. That is awesome. Another Galen Urso. And then, oh cool, Director Krennic. Oh, I like the old school throwback look to it. Villains of the Galactic Empire. Awesome. And the villains cards are a 1 in 8 chance of getting. so many. Do they have a checklist? <laughs> That's what I want to know. The leadership of Mon Mothma. She gets a lot of cards. A meeting of Krennic and Orso. Did I say Orso? Urso. <laughs> Fateful meeting nonetheless. Oh cool. Cheer it. Is it Emwe? I don't know how to say it exactly but he's an awesome character. Imperial forces take cover. Yay, finally a Jin card. Jin undercover. Love it. And then, yes, K2SO. Icon card. I have got to say, I mean, I love BB-8, but K2SO is my favorite droid. Okay, down to three more packs and then our medallion card. So we have Confrontation with the Assault Tank. Oh, that was the scene from Jetta. Rushing to Respond. Death Trooper in action. Oh, cool. Rebel Hero Jin Urso. Royal Guard. Nice. And then we have another blueprint of the Striker. The Imperial Striker. That's awesome. So, another sort of TIE Fighter looking design with the Striker. Okay, let me rearrange those. So, this is pack number nine. And we have Base Fights back again. 
Gin Undercover, Chirrut's Warning. <laughs> they were warned. Um, let's see, The Death Trooper and Destruction. Oh wow, with the flames in back, that's a really cool, cool picture there. Um, Chirrut's Warning, hey, we got the same card in the same pack. Okay, that could happen. Ooh, and this one's a cool one. So this is a gallery card. Okay, and then pack number 10. Oopsies. We have Bistan prepares in the hangar. Is it Bistan? Bistan? Ah, I don't know. But is that guy? <laughs> Scarif attack. Oh. Oh, the wounds are still fresh here. Jin's departure. Royal Guard again. Stormtrooper in the jungle. Which, that was a cool setting, Scarif in, in general. Um, the jungle scene. Oh, yes, and we have this guy, Moroff. They actually make an action figure of him, and it's that cool retro style. Love it. And he's one of the heroes of the Rebel Alliance. Awesome. And the heroes of the Rebel Alliance cards are also a 1 in 10, just like the villains. Okay, so now it is time for our medallion, and this feels heavy. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what this is, so let's see. Oh, sweet. Wow, this is heavy. So we have Jin, that is awesome, and the U-Wing. And, okay, so it's... Ooh, don't touch that. <laughs> so this part is the metallic piece to it. This is just a card overlay on top. And then it's on this cool board. So it says, congratulations, you have received a commemorative medallion card from Star Wars Rogue One. May the Force be with you. Yes. <laughs> So that's really neat. Kind of wish this was glued down because that seems dangerous. Like you can bend it, but it looks awesome. I really like the design. So there you have it, all our 10 packs and our very cool medallion card. These are really neat, and if you're into Star Wars Rogue One, I think they're a cool little movie souvenir. I really like that, and I hope to collect some more. Um, I think those packs are a good way to go because they're definitely cheaper than buying the packs individually. Um, and you can find them on Amazon. That's where I found mine. So very cool. Let me know which cards were some of your favorites or maybe the type of card you like the best. I definitely like the heroes and villains um, cards. Those are really neat as well as those character cards. And of course the medallion's awesome. So can't wait to see more. I still need to figure out how many are in that series because definitely want a complete set. <laughs> If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and whether you're dropping in for some Star Wars action or sticking around for my other toy videos, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate it, and until next time, friends, bye bye